Job losses and the difficult economy continue to steal the spotlight in Santa Fe. Democratic lawmakers came together at the Roundhouse today to present their jobs plan, and the governor responded. Jose Mitri is in the newsplex with both sides. Kim, as expected, the governor and Democrats don't exactly see eye to eye when it comes to how to encourage job growth here in New Mexico. Governor Susana Martinez in Albuquerque. Certainly our small businesses in New Mexico is one of our two top priorities, our kids and our businesses. Democratic legislators in Santa Fe, both sides talking about jobs today. Oh, New Mexico jobs now is our key. Democrats rolled out a three-point jobs plan. Part of it proposes $97 million in capital spending for, quote, shovel-ready public works projects. That will create jobs for contractors, uh, plumbers, electricians. Those are immediate job creating uh, opportunities. It's something the governor says she might support depending on the specific projects. Certainly ready to um, pump in that kind of funding for projects that are ready, but I haven't seen anything in writing yet. Democrats are also proposing bills they say will bolster four industries, technology, energy, agriculture and film. The film industry at one point in time <clears throat> was a great job creator and brought a lot of uh, positive economic values to the state of New Mexico. What Senator Phil Griego this? wants to remove the cap on state film tax subsidies. New Mexico currently allots a maximum of $50 million in tax credits each year for filmmakers. Governor Martinez says she's fine with any unused money rolling over into the next year, but she's firmly against removing the cap that she helped establish. What makes the film incentive cap so important is that it makes budgeting more predictable. House Speaker Ken Martinez says a jobs council made up of legislators and labor leaders is necessary to focus on job creation year round, something the governor feels is already being done. We do have employability uh, uh, organizations already that are built together to say how do we meet the needs of the 21st century jobs. The governor has already put forth her plan for job creation. It includes pouring money into the job training incentive program and giving small businesses tax credits for every new job they create and sustain. She's also proposing a decrease in the corporate tax rate. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Lizzie. Now, the State Department of Workforce Solutions says New Mexico lost about 3,200 jobs last year.